What's up guys, here's Twin here. Hope you're doing well today. We're building an SR20 DET. Let's go! So first thing we're doing, we're selecting our inline 4 configuration. Aluminum block, aluminum head, dual overhead cam, 2 liter displacement, 4 valves per cylinder, plus 15 quality. So next up, we're selecting our rotating assembly. That's going to consist of a bullet steel crank, lightweight titanium con rods, forged pistons and a harmonic dampener. Balancing will get back to that, plus 15 quality. Alrighty, so for the top end we're going to utilize VVT and VVL and we're going to add plus 15 quality. We will get to our settings of the VVL profile as well as the RPM that it operates in in a little bit. Alrighty, so we're doing a single turbo of small boost control, twin scroll setup, plus 15 quality. So for the fuel system we're doing multi-point EFI per cylinder configuration with a race intake manifold. So for the fuel we're using E85 because I like E85, it's nice to work with. Then we're doing plus 15 quality exhaust we're gonna do now. Exhaust is gonna be consisting of a tubular race header, no cat, no first muffler, no second muffler, plus 15 quality. So we are going back to the top end, adding 2020 as our, the year we're working with because that's the highest we can go. Checking out both our charts, the flow chart and the stress chart. Then we can increase our RPM up to a good number that I'm happy with, 9200 for at the moment. So in this case we're gonna change our RPM up a little bit. In the VVL's category anyway. Then we can add our VVL profile as well as our cam profile because those two work great together. And we're gonna balance the engine after we've adjusted these because we're idling way too high. And to bring that idle way down, a very much a good number now. I like my engine's RPM to be under a thousand RPM at idle. Otherwise it sounds crazy, it just makes a whole racket. Now let's move back to our top end, let's see what we can adjust. Fuel system, we can add our ignition timing back into this thing, make it to go towards advanced, then we can add some boost to it. Boost number for this engine is going to be 1200 horsepower is my number, as you can see clearly by the title, we have stated that. Now we can start playing with the turbo like we are already doing, making a great load of power. So for exhaust system we are going to increase the exhaust size now, as well as the header size we are going to increase that, because both of those areas are a little bit high in the temperature range as well as the stress range. Then we can move to our manifold size, we can increase that, move to the turbo, increase the boost, get more in air in there with a bigger compressor housing, get more air out of there with a bigger exhaust housing. Let's move back to the top end and increase our spring and lifter tension because that is starting to fail and that will, that will cause a rollover in power at the, at the top peak of where it is currently, like I'm demonstrating here with more power. It will obviously bow the chart a lot more at the top where it looks like it's falling off as a technical term. With that said, the more boost you run, the more stress you get into your compressor housing, exhaust housing or turbine housing, it starts to stress everything out, it starts to create problems. So now we go back to the turbo, let's increase boost. Uh, notice we don't have enough fuel, so let's go to the fuel map, increase our fuel map to 91 or 92, I think 92 will be very beneficial. Not to run this engine too lean because it will detonate and do all that. We don't need any of that. Because all of that costs a lot of money because that breaks things. So let's increase our AR ratio as well as our compressor trump. As well as adding more boost into it and making the compressor and inducer a bit larger. Because that helps make our power a lot better at the top. Because that's where we need our power, it's at the top. More boost, of course. Let's go back to the top end. Come drop our compression ratio just a little bit. Otherwise, um, it's gonna start knocking and doing all that. So I need to increase fuel again. So I don't need that right now. We are so, 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 other so slightly closer. We can increase our VVL and our cam profile just a little bit. By increasing our VVL RPM, we can do that as well. I think our rev limit is just gonna leave there. It was increasing our intake manifold. We are getting there. We can't change the fuel because the fuel is gonna drop us power down. No, we don't need that. Right now, anyway. 
Really quickly guys, I want to interrupt this video by asking you to please do consider to like, comment, share and subscribe because it really helps me out. Thank you to everybody who's been doing it and thank you who's been watching. Let's get back to the video. So now we're gonna paint this engine. We're gonna paint it very simple, very easy. The way I like things now anyway. With a red valve cover and the rest of the parts can be black or want to be. That's a nice red, I like that red a lot more. Let's paint it real quick. Now this engine looks absolutely beautiful, I'm going to do two dyno runs, one facing the engine as well as one doing our normal one which is looking at the graph. Let's get into it and see what she sounds like. Alright, this thing sounds absolutely crazy. Thank you for watching and have yourself a fantastic day. Catch you in the next one.